Hey y'all, by now everyone is hearing what's going on between Romeo Miller, also known as Little Romeo, and his father, Master P. If not, here's a quick rundown. Recently, DJ Steven, Twitch boss from The Ellen Show, recently passed by his own hands. He is survived by his wife and his three children. My condolences to his family and may he rest in peace. Master P did a recent post about Twitch's passing, giving his condolences, which I get because Master P lost his daughter the same way earlier on this year. But apparently Romeo didn't like that. It didn't sit well. Let's look. Thank you to the Neighborhood Talk for that footage, but did y'all really read that? I wonder what was so triggering for Romeo that he felt he had no choice but to speak out about the recent passing of his sister as well as his career with his father. Romeo is claiming him and his siblings had no money for college, nor did he see any of his money as little Romeo. Take a listen to what Master P has to say. Today is a sad day because I gotta get out of character and put this on the internet, which I don't want to do. But I try to call my son. People say, why you call? I did. He don't call back. It's been months. So my question is to Romeo. Like, if you've been in the business for long as you've been in, and you're a 30-something-year-old man, and if you've been around me, watching me hustle and do my thing, why you not where you want to be at? Because that means you're not listening. That means you want to do your own thing. You done brought your own circle, your own circle of people. But you can't get mad at me because I really thought this was about, the only reason I entertain this on social media, I thought it was about the DJ Twitch uh, post that I put up. And I thought it was about my daughter's death. I thought she was grieving. Mental illness is, is real. But I want to tell all the people out there that just don't understand how bad my heart hurt. Romeo lost a sister, but I lost a daughter. And for any parent that's going through this, because I know debt, it brings people closer together or it tear them apart. But I come from nothing, y'all. And I could go back. I'm cool with it. I won't be angry at God. I won't be upset. I won't go get mad and, and be disrespectful to my parents and none of that stuff. I just say, Dad, thank you for putting me in this world not to get out and hustle and go do my thing. But that's the problem. When you take kids and you, you kind of like uh, protect them from the real struggle and the pain and you don't allow them to deal with their own consequences. And then when they grow older, they, oh, you never gave me nothing. At 30 something, man, people will go back and look, you've been shining for a long time, son. All you gotta do is pick up the phone and call me or come to the house and holler at me. The saddest thing about this, this is what the people wanna see. They wanna see destruction. So if you destroy me, what are you gonna do for the rest of the family? Are you gonna take care? You told me, <laughs> on the post that you put up, oh, you go take care of people in the community. That's what you're supposed to do when you come from that. You go help people. I'm just not helping ungrateful people. I'm not an ATM machine. People can't just say they love me when I give them something. I'm tired of that, y'all. And any other parents, you could be rich or poor at a smaller level. You might give your kid ten dollars, but if that's all you got, I've always fell off, got back up, hustled, did my thing. I'm tired of all these blog sites and all this stuff poking and having fun. Y'all can. But I'm about to go back to work and do what I got to do. I love my family. My door is always open for my son. To be honest, because we shouldn't have to go through this. And if I'm wrong, forgive me. I'm apologizing to you if I'm wrong. I'm still a work in progress. I come from nothing. Everybody go through trauma. I'm dealing with this right now. But I love going out into the community and helping people. That's the way I heal. Allow me to heal. I don't have to be sitting around moaning and crying. and all. I, I can't get my daughter back. But I can get out there and keep a legacy going, keep a name going. So let's do this in love and let's do this in peace. Because this is what the system wants. Think about it. We stronger together. But you older now. So you got to lead by example for the rest of the kids. And we're going to get through this. I'm just telling y'all, keep, keep y'all prayers. We need it. And, and, and God's going to do what he got to do. You know, I'm not going to come on here no more. So bloggers and everything else is cool. Whatever you want to deal with, deal with Romeo. Whatever y'all think he's saying is true or whatever, that's cool too. I can live with it. I'm at peace now. I had to speak my peace.
Now, Romeo has put out a poem. Take a look at this. On IG, Romeo posted about rap snacks that he is finally able to get paid after being the face of rap snacks for years. This is Romeo's attempt to show that he in fact is telling the truth as it pertains to him not getting his money as little Romeo. I must say allegedly, so let me put it in here so I could cover myself, but let's look at what Romeo posted. Where can you get these chips in the stores? You well, yeah, you can go to like certain stores. Okay. Like retail stores, it don't matter. Y'all have to request the wrap snacks. By oh, yeah. Be the store. I see that from Philly, Baltimore, D.C., L.A. That's it? Good night. <laughs> Talk about the confusion. I don't know what to believe. Yet it's sad that this father and son is going through this and it's on social media. I hope they remember it. it is said father will be against son, mother against daughter, and vice versa. I pray they can get to some form of mutual ground soon and get back to being father and son and putting aside their differences for the betterment of their whole family. Now tell me your thoughts on this. Do you feel how Master P is addressing his son on social media is correct? Or how Romeo is addressing his father is correct? And what can they do to rectify this situation? Be sure to comment, like, and subscribe and hit that notification bell so we can chat soon. You all be blessed and have a safe and Merry Christmas.